the face. To the face. <laughs> I like the first guy. That guy, the one with the battle axe. His physique was amazing. <laughs> of course he would go for the physique. And now he's got two clubs. Oh! Where did he pull that out of? Salutations, everyone. Good evening, We're everyone. We're back. We are back it's again. Different. It's exciting, isn't I know, it? Very exciting. I know. Yes. We're, Today. Go, go for it, man. <laughs> okay. Today we're gonna be watching some Doom Eternal. Yeah. Lots of pew pews. Lots of action, lots of in your face. Honestly, this game is Red Bull if it was a video game. <laughs> so, Bang. Doom Eternal, baby. Doom, baby. Explosions. Yeah, like a Michael like, Bay movie. Oh yeah, literally a Michael <laughs> Bay movie. Oh, it's so satisfying when you kill these things. I know, I like the, the real kill sequences, like the, all the uh, chainsaws to the face and everything like this, right? It was so cool, like. Like what is happening? Is, Skewering that dude's eyeball? Yeah, I don't know what the concept of is just kill everything that you see. Which I mean, that's like. Sweet. Oh. oh. Everybody gets the arm blade thing. Arm blade? Yeah. Is it like a. It's like a, you know, Assassin's Creed, the hidden blade that comes out? Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's what's like coming out of his arm. He's just stabbing dudes in the eyeball. That's like the next level of like karate chop. Yeah, literally. You think you can knock someone's head off with a kick like that? I mean, you would kind of need something bladed or steel toe or something mm -hmm. to create enough a slice. Force. Enough force or a slice to be able to like rip someone's head off. You would definitely snap someone's neck. The, the brute force you would need in order to actually decapitate someone with a kick. I don't know if that would be possible. Yeah. Should we try it? We should. You first. Okay. <laughs> Deal. It actually, it takes a lot of force to break someone's neck. Really? Like they make lot. it look so easy in yeah, the movies? On the films, yeah, they're yeah. like, oh. Dead. No, it actually takes like a, the body weight and force to break the neck. Really? Um, but you couldn't sever it unless, like, if I'm just sitting there and I'm just like, <laughs> unless you got like Wolverine nails. Yeah, literally. No, I couldn't just rip someone's head off. I would. I'd need, you know, a saw or a yeah. Blade or you know. Oh, what is that? Well, ball and chain. Oh, ball and chain. Oh, oh, let's get some curb stomp. It's like Gears of War. They make it look so easy to just like smash someone's I head know. in. Everyone's made of Play-Doh in this game. Oh. Just on a smoke break, and all of a sudden they start getting like, <gasps> nice. Dude. Ooh, this. Ooh. Kill shot. Shh. All of these are just kill these shots. These dudes, yeah, this dude's having a blast. Hey, you want this? Oh! Dude, I know, I, I can't. There's so it's much going so on. It's so entertaining. It is. These weapons are <laughs> badass, man. I mean, they're cool. I mean, each of them have their own little, like, little niche to them. Some of them shoot plasma, and that seems to be like a video game staple, is just everything shoots plasma. <laughs> but I, I like the fact that you have a huge arsenal on you. Like, realistically, would you carry that many weapons on you? Probably not. That's why we have a platoon size, so we can have, like, that amount of weapons in a giant 30-man platoon. The weapons here are super cool. I like how it gives you, like, it's almost like a poo-poo platter of destruction and death. A <laughs> poo-poo platter? <laughs> How would you be able to carry a chainsaw with you? Like, wouldn't that be more of like a risk to injuring yourself than? Yes, like you open them up and then you just start cracking ribs with like this uh, hammer and this like, uh, what is it called? It's like, it's pretty, it's pretty brutal. It's like, crack, crack, and you're like pulling them off or like when we had to amputate fingers, like you literally cut it off. And then you, like, Did you train it. how to do that? Or you just learn how to do it right? I learned how to do it right there. Yeah. Look at this guy. Oh, snap. This guy is horny. <laughs> is that coming out of his butt? Oh. oh, that's cool. He's like, you, Doom guy, you're after mine. Not Master Chief? No, not Master, <laughs> not Master Chief. Uh, Interesting. Eh? At least he never has to worry about tying his own shoes. I know. Oh, look at this boss. That's what I feel like after like a good arm day. Oh. oh. Demon train. Oh, hello, that's cool. They do a good job of like, because every boss so far has seemed like the final boss. I know, no, they're bosses. That's hard to do to like Imagine out boss. Out boss a boss? Yeah. Yeah. Out bossed. Out boss. See, and his shield. The shield is, is alive. The shield's alive, he's probably telling him what to do because he can't see through it. <gasps> he's, like, he's moving left, no, I said right. I know law enforcement and like uh, a lot of feds use shields when they go in like, especially if it's a, like a felon or something mm -hmm. and they know he's about to, you know, get crazy. Uh, they'll, they'll go internal with like a shield and just have like five guys behind the shield. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. The big boss. Big boss, man. Dude, would you even engage with this dude? 
And if you did, what weapons would you use? What gun would you go to? What one would be your tactic? One on one? One on one. One on one. Well, first of all, I'd need about nine months of preparation and about nine <gasps> months of HGH to get me to that dude's size. What's HGH? Human growth hormone. <laughs> oh, I wish steroids. I had some of that. Yeah, right. It's steroids. But um, I don't use steroids. Uh, never. Down. He's a big dude. I mean, he's a big dude. He's not really the fastest guy. I definitely would try to tire him out. Yeah. Um, but I don't think I really stand a chance, especially with. Uh, I mean, if I was I, am I demon guy? Am I doom guy? Am I doom you're, guy? You're doom guy. Okay. Honestly, I would give a shot. If I die, I die. I would use a melee weapon as well. If I would, I'm, I'm bombs. A, no, like I would use an axe too or something because I'd be that guy's size. That'd be great. Dude. Just thinking about like all the intricacies of that. It looks like a metal, like it would be so heavy. Not to mention like. Heavy metal? So heavy, it is pretty metal. Yeah! Um, <laughs> this is like a hell rave. Yeah. You need sandstorm on repeat. That'd be awesome. Okay. Sandstorm? Classic. Get him, dude. Oh. This guy looks so cool. He's like, I have a oh, bad yeah. toothache. Why'd you do Chop that? Chop his leg off. Oh! Is that the source of his power? Oh, oh. So How did he know to do that? You know? Uh, right so I guess that was the first boss, and now he's got two clubs! Oh! Where did he pull that out of? <laughs> Let's leave that up to the imagination. Exactly. I like how as the care. Oh, I like how that's, yeah. all it, that's all it took. Yeah, finish Wait, it. Let me just uh, elbow you in the face real quick. Take your weapon. Do it! Hell oh! Yeah. That's awesome. I like how as the character gets like closer to death, he gets like more bloody and everything. That's like a Wolfenstein thing. Very cool. How many of these dudes is he gonna kill? I guess every one of these guys got his own boy. Wow. Oh. Okay. This one's not as cool. Really? I think it's pretty badass. They got wings. They got wings. Next level is like X-Men. I know. <laughs> Next thing's gonna be like a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Just leave that in there, dude. Well, that's cool. That is cool. Very Attack on Titans. Yes, very. No. Oh, man. It's gonna slide off the edge now. Oh. Yeah. Into the abyss. Goodbye. Go back from whence you came, creature. See you later. So, we just saw a bunch of outbosses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which one was your favorite? I like the first guy. That guy, the one with the battle axe. Honestly, he had the coolest armor. His physique was amazing. <laughs> of course he would go for the physique. The physique, that dude was badass. That boy was swole. Yeah, he was swole as hell. No, I had to pick that guy. Who would you say your favorite boss is? I don't know, I like the dramatic kill of the brain dude. The brain dude? Yeah, maybe it's just because I'm so tiny that I fantasize about being much bigger. So you would drive like a F-350 with like, yeah, I'd be like 17. that dude compensating for being yeah. so small. I'd be like, big as everything. Like, giant I'm gonna take truck. the big guy. Yeah, I'm gonna take that giant truck. Dude, plus he did like that super extra AF kill. Oh yeah. He's like, yeah. and I just let him fall. Gotta get that twist in there. And then he broke and off the- And then hero shot. Yeah. Hero shot at the end. I'm all about the hero shot. Yeah, absolutely. What the heck? Man, I need an Advil after that one. That was just like, literally, bam, 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 bam. My eyes were like, yeah, what is going on? Dude, that I've, was insane. That was literally a rave in a video game. Freaking rage, man. Really rage good. rave. Rage rave. Awesome. <laughs> Love to see it. If you guys like this video, make sure to check out Gameology's Facebook and YouTube page. And if you want to find us on Instagram, you can find me at Cameron C. Fat or on my streetwear page, Kick Out Apparel. And you can find me at Gemasaur. Till next time, bye. Love and death metal. Suck less a little bit, huh? Okay, bye, bye. Okay.